Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Doctor, and this is Vampire. So, let's continue. Now that I joined the, uh, what was I it, Oscalon Club? Patrolling last night in the West End, and I spotted at least two foreign echoes. This is an outrage. We shall chase these intruders down. I was chased by a gigantic Valkon two nights ago. I thought it was Fergal coming back, but no. That creature barely spoke English. Okay, so they're kind of against immigrants, I see. But yeah, foreign vampires, that's a problem. That causes even more issues. Ooh. Good dagger. I might want this. It's not even a mic now that I think about it. Um, it's of the that gun thing. Oh, Giselle's dagger. Who is this Giselle? A light but strong dagger kept by Giselle Paxton to defend herself. Oh, it was the woman. Ah, they are the exact same. Will they be the exact same? 15. 18. Okay, so this is better. Anything here? I guess no. I cannot enter. Yes, Jonathan, you cannot enter. I know. I know. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Doctor Reed. The resources of the club might be useful for me. The amount of XP you get from the citizens you choose to embrace is directly linked to their blood quality. Yeah, I know that. I know that perfectly. Okay, let's see. I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Hmm, thank you. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Well, I've already got an important lead. Who are you? Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My god! So you survived the war too? So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. When did you escape the war and return to London? You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. Are you Priman? Priman? What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. They're everywhere. Vampires. I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. 
Of course. With the epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other. So many things have happened. Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. But you're alive. You returned in one piece and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the, the Malanies... Yes? What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. The closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Oh fuck, I can actually Good hear evening. him. But yeah, so far two people medical assistance, sent me to the same place. For visiting hours, don't you think? What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. The marks that I accidentally made really annoy me on the map. I need to remove them. I wish it wouldn't be so easy to place them. Ah. Uh. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around? I need to find out what they're up Ah, so that's how this knife looks like. What about this one? I'm curious about the looks. I think uh, the good one is a bayonet. Okay, there. It's locked. Is this the house I'm looking for? Not expect such a massive damage from one hit. Crossbow guy, you must die. Why do they do so much damage suddenly? From time to time. Fuck. Okay, this is getting embarrassing. And I like what? Three times here. Four? For fuck's sake!
This is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. That image is crazy. Okay, I need to look up where can I find better gear. Yeah, I'm back, and as it turns out, I already have an amazing weapon. But I just didn't realize yet. And, oh, um, I keep forgetting how to do it. Oh, change. And that's the Parabellum pistol. So let's try it. There's a hideout right next to me, okay, so I can upgrade. Look at this. This oh yeah, that is efficient. Fuck. I'm getting angry. Holy shit, I'm getting angry. Like, for fuck's sake, why are they suddenly so strong? I wish I could at least respect or something, because then I would remove a bunch of choices I did earlier on. Like, fuck the bite. It's almost max level and it barely does anything now. Don't come closer. Okay, this world. Let's go down past them. Yeah, I love this pistol already. Yeah, the bite is became borderline useless. Ah, good handle at least. Who are you? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need help, sir? I think I'm fine. But what happened to my jailer? Be careful. He's as vicious as he is strong. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What happened here? I am Tadao Kimura. I was imprisoned by this lunatic for several days. I thought I was going to die here. You're not going to die now, Mr. Kimura. If you hurry, you should be able to get home safely. It seems that I owe you my life. You have all my gratitude, Dr. Reed, since it is the most precious thing I possess. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. Wait. Are you sure you'll manage to... Yes, I'm perfectly capable of defending myself. We're not ambushed by insane cultists. I think all this, okay. Goodbye, I just Mr. wanted to Kimura. see if Take I care. can heal him. Your blood. We know the expression. We heard it in the four hour mouths of the heretics and the foreign barbarians we use it sometimes ourselves but do we really know what it means a vampire born from an immortal belly a disgusting idea how would such a creature find its place among the livings what would it be its purpose are this clear gentlemen Ascalon is here to protect the empire and all its citizens we are the protectors and shepherds even when sometimes sacrifice the sheep for our sustenance Whoever will be found guilty of succumbing to the desire of breeding immortal child shall be eradicated. From the law of Escalon by Lord Redgrave. For a country for our poor.
<sighs> I'm really losing my patience. I can't even win one fight. Is that the way I need? Yeah, that is the way I need. Wasn't this the way to get to a safe house? Oh, up there, okay. Reed Mansion. Wait, is this home? Seems like it. Okay, can I upgrade the sword maybe? No, I can't. I need one more good handle. Okay, then I need to upgrade the Parabellum. Increase damage or decrease reloading. Reloading is fine, I need more damage. Oh, that will be a massive damage increase, okay. Again, reloading, my reloading is fine. One more damage. Level 4. Increase damage. Switch to fire damage. Best use against beasts and vampires. Or switch to chemical damage. Best use against humans. Ah, uh, this is hard. I will just go with damage. Let's check of all traits here. I need six more good triggers to get the max level. Okay then. Refill. So I accidentally found my house. Read my mission, 4th of April 198. My dear and beloved John, when you receive this letter, you will be 35 and I will be long gone. I feel a little silly writing you this first letter that you won't read for a few years. I struggled for a long time about how best to write this, or to write through this, until I remembered the puzzle and riddles I invented for you when you were a boy. Oh boy, you loved to solve those enigmas. Well, I found it would be a good idea to propose to you one final game. It will probably be less rewarding, no candies or exotic treasures for you if you decipher the game this time, but a greater treasure perhaps, the truth. It is my only attempt for you to explain why I chose to leave my family without an explanation. If you want to know why, simply play my little game. It's really up to you, my son. Rest assured that I love you. I promise my family was and still is everything to me. I remember the first time I held you and your sister in my arms. My treasures, my jewels. To see you grow up, play and love filled my heart with joy and every time I went back to our home. I could have killed to protect you, my son, my daughter, my wife, but fate found me in the end and I had to make a tough decision. The worst was to disappear without a word. I decided to do it anyway and soon I will be gone for good. I don't ask for forgiveness, but for understanding. If you want to know more, all you have to do is remember how happy we were back in those days. If you want to find the next message, sing green grass and tall trees on sunny days. From your affectionate father, Aubrey Reed. I, I think he became a vampire. Walks in the park. I think he became a vampire and that's why this whole letter might have just uh, suicide, I don't know. Wait, did I see something there? Oh, I did. I 
we want to deconstruct my items. But maybe I will get some handles, maybe somehow. I'm just hoping at this point. Okay. What else is here? Um, hello? Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan, I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, you have come back too late, sir. Far too late. I know, Avery. I know about Mary and my mother. I'm so sorry. It was my duty to watch over her. She left the house in the middle of the night. The police said... It's all right, Avery. The police said her body was found near your sister's grave in Whitechapel. You're the master of the house now. I'd understand if you fired me, sir. Oh, I won't. What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seemed spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. How was life in this house while I was away? It was sad, sir. Miss Mary moved here in July, after she lost her baby and husband. So I stayed to serve both her and your mother. How was my mother? Miss Reed was very frail. After Miss Mary was found dead, your mother started talking to herself. She said she was speaking to the dead. She even said that she had seen you. Weird. How was Mary? Miss Mary went out looking for you every night after you had written to say that you were coming back. She was sure you were alive. She'll never know she was right. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir. But your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. What are the arrangements for my mother's funeral? There will be no funeral, sir. No ceremony whatsoever because of the sanitary situation. Where is her body then? I'm afraid your mother's body was moved to a mass grave somewhere. I have no other information. Civil service is paralyzed, sir. London is crumbling down. Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. Oh. I found an old letter written by my father and addressed to me. Do you know anything about it, Avery? Your father wanted me to give you this letter for your 35th birthday, but you left for the war, and the letter remained in his office until tonight. I realize now you knew my father better than I did. Do you know why he left, Avery? 
Did he ever speak to you about his departure? No, sir. Mr. Reed was not exactly forthcoming. Perhaps this letter will give you the information you require. Tell me, no, sir. This ha if, uh, you have, then I will. I can't change it. I was curious if I can tell something else to him. Do you really think I neglected my mother, Avery? Yes. I see. Well, please go on. Speak freely. It's not as if there is anything left to treasure in this house. Just like your father, you always had this capacity to focus only on what interests you. It surely helped you become a great doctor, but not such a great son. Mm. At least Avery is honest. I appreciate it. Is his health okay? Oh, it's not. Do you need medical attention, Avery? I won't refuse, sir. I don't feel that good these days. Here is your prescription. You'll feel better soon enough. Thank you very much, sir. I'm currently investigating sources of the epidemic in this part of town. Do you know anything useful? Not really, except all the McPherson's servants resigned a few days ago. They feared becoming infected, they said. The McPhersons? Where do they live? I think it's a rich house near the railway bridge in the southern part of the district. Yeah, thank, thank you, Avery. Avery. We'll Avery. talk later. Your bedroom is ready as always. Good night, sir. I wish I could tell him what happened. I feel like he deserves the truth. I know how well he would take it, so it would still be worth it. Or a letter. And I got something else too, I wanted to check that. Oh well. Read mention. My dear Avery, as I already told you several days ago, I may be forced to leave England, if only for a few months, while I'm away and until my son comes back to London. I want you to take the best care of our house. I already made this in the entire necessary arrangements to have your wages increased and paid as long as you will work. You promised me you would protect my dear wife and serve her to the best of your ability. For that, I thank you for from the bottom of my heart. If I'm never to return, you are the only man I fully trust. Believe me, your most affectionate friend. Aubrey Reed. Okay, I will sleep. What are those? Ah, flower. It's kinda sad how Avery lost everyone around him. Okay. Time to sleep once. And let's see. I need to change up my abilities a bit. I want this missed ability. Okay. And I want more ammo, I think. Eighty percent more bullets. Confirm. I will need a lot of bullets with this pistol. 
Oh, I stabilized this district. Okay, Pembroke is healthy. Ah, uh, this is in critical again. Anyway, that was all for this episode. Thank you for watching and we'll continue from here in the next one. Bye.